Well, uh, praying the rosary and uh, during walks, uh, Mary has Mary and Jesus have uh, revealed things to me about uh, the mysteries of the rosary. And uh, they want these uh, blessings to be shared and this knowledge to be shared. Because um, there's a lot more uh, than what's in the Bible. And now is the time that uh, Jesus wants these revealed. And he wants them first on uh, YouTube, believe it or not. Um, which is why uh, YouTube was created. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Glorious Mysteries, and the first Glorious Mystery is the uh, Resurrection, and the uh, Bible verse uh, that goes with uh, this in uh, my rosary book, uh, published by America Needs uh, Fatima, and in Canada, Canada Needs Our Lady, um, and I'm sure this is the same throughout the world. Uh, bring hither thy hand and put it into my side. And be not faithless, but believing. John chapter 20. Uh, excuse me, verse uh, 27. Now, as uh, I will say uh, when we do the uh, sorrowful mysteries that... Uh, as uh, Jesus was being crucified, uh, Barabbas took hold of one of the young ladies who was uh, there with Christ and, and praying uh, for his soul. Uh, Barabbas took her and uh, raped her and murdered her. And the modern equivalent of her name is uh, Cindy. She had blonde hair, and uh, she had just become a woman, uh, being, uh, she had turned 13 and been through her bar mitzvah. She was uh, buried with Christ in the same tomb. Now, of course, we don't uh, find the wrappings for her, because on the third day, they uh, rose together. She was uh, fully dressed and uh, Jesus uh, parted the back of the tomb just like Moses uh, parted the waters so she was able to sneak out past uh, the guards which she did, she didn't sneak, she walked proudly out returned to uh, Mother Mary and uh, served her until uh, Mary died. Um, and she has uh, the clothing that uh, Mary was wearing when uh, she was born, I mean, died. And that was sent down to her from heaven after uh, she assumed her new uh, heavenly clothes, which we'll uh, talk about later. And it's a beautiful story, too. When uh, Jesus woke up, he was uh, clothed in a uh, robe of uh, 14 karat gold and silk. Um, and when he, uh, anyway, when he wakes up, uh, there's a meal waiting for him. And it's all of his uh, favorite foods, uh, unleavened bread, mutton, figs, uh, wine, and cheese curds, and also grapes. I think there were some other fruits, but I, I don't know what they were. And he ate every last bit of it, enjoyed the wine. Uh, the tomb was lit from within, and, uh, when he, uh, finished eating, 
the uh, dishes and the uh, table that had been uh, set there for him and the, the uh, chair uh, disappeared back into Mother Mary's house. And um, she had actually prepared the meal for him. And uh, it was fresh and hot. The, you know, food that was supposed to be hot. And the uh, uh, other uh, items were uh, the perfect temperature. Everything was the perfect temperature. And um, the cup that he drank from was the Holy Grail. And that will be uh, revealed to us very shortly, along with the uh, table and the chair and all the dishes he ate from. Uh, there will even be a couple of drops of uh, wine and the crumbs still on the plate. Uh, and the stems from the grapes. Uh, so, Jesus uh, descends into hell. And the uh, fires of hell keep burning the silk. And they keep growing back as uh, quick as the uh, flames can uh, burn them. But, you know, Satan being Satan never gives up. Uh... Jesus ministered to the souls in hell and told them uh, that those uh, who were there because there was nobody to pray for them, that they would have to wait and that uh, he asked them to you know, pray for their deliverance and if their prayers are sincere, he will deliver them on the uh, Judgment Day. Okay, let's uh, go to the Ascension. Um, and behold, I am with you all days, even to the consummation of the world. Matthew uh, chapter 28, verse 20. This was a... a Beautiful event. Um, just before he starts to rise from heaven, his body is uh, healed fully. The apostles are there, uh, along with all the women who were there at his crucifixion. Cindy kissed his feet and his hands. And the wound in his side before they were healed. And that's uh, what healed uh, those wounds. Jesus allowed her to heal the wounds. The last uh, five wounds. Mary touched his heart. And that uh, healed his heart. Uh, it took three days to ascend into heaven. The uh, whole world uh, saw it, except any, including evil. And evil was not happy at all. Uh, let me tell you that. Um, but yeah, the entire world saw it. And basically, God's version of a big screen TV allowed it to be seen in the uh, parts of the world where uh, it couldn't be seen. Um, of course, uh, the apostles and Mary and Cindy and all, the, uh, Veronica and all the other, uh, apostles saw, uh, saw it without the use of, uh, God's, uh, big screen TV. The gates of heaven are at, uh, the true North Pole, not magnetic North. 
and uh, it's uh, surrounded by clouds and, you know, nice fluffy cumulus clouds. And when Jesus uh, got up to heaven, his uh, feet stepped down on uh, a golden brick road. He wasn't wearing any shoes. He didn't need them. No, no sandals. Um, Cindy actually kissed the bottom of Jesus' feet. He's still revealing things as we record this. And, you know, he walked uh, up to heaven. And the gates of heaven are uh, very simple wrought iron gates. Uh, just a, a little bit of design to them, but it's uh, basically very simple. The uh, handle is golden. And when he uh, opened uh, the gates, all he had to do was uh, touch the gate and they opened outwards. And all the angels and saints, they were uh, singing and playing music. My grandmother be about, who is the uh, choir master in heaven, uh, was leading the choir, even though she had not been born yet. It makes me so happy. I knew she was the choir master in heaven after she died, but I didn't know until now that she was before she died. And even when she was on earth, uh, she was still the choir master in heaven. And hers was the loudest voice of all. And my grandfather be about, uh, was the softest voice, the gentlest voice singing out. And when he got to heaven, uh, it took three days. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, he took hands with his father and the Holy Spirit. And they walked to a beautiful table. And they had a meal with uh, heavenly foods that we don't even know what they are were are yet, along with uh, Jesus' favorite foods from earth. Um, again, uh, bread, wine, uh, grapes and other fruits, figs. Oh, he loved figs. Uh, and figs uh, were the uh, forbidden fruit in uh, the Garden of Eden. Uh, cheese curds, uh, a, it was, it was a huge bounty. And they ate for a half hour. The food was multiplied. And all the angels and saints then partook of the meal. And the choir ate last because, uh, they were singing... The entire time uh, that Jesus, the Father, and the Holy Spirit ate, and the other angels and saints uh, ate. And God smiled upon uh, God and the Holy Spirit and Jesus uh, smiled upon everybody as they uh, enjoyed their meal. Again, everybody ate for a half hour, and this meal was seen again from earth. And then the gates of heaven closed until Mother Mary uh, arrived, and we'll talk about that uh, uh, in her mysteries. Okay, uh, the descent of the Holy Spirit. 
so burped again. And there appeared to them parted tongues as it were of fire, and it sat upon every one of them. Acts chapter 2, verse 3. The uh, apostles, as uh, directed, along with Mother Mary, went to the upper room. They uh, closed uh, the the, um, shutters to the windows. And God provided just the gentlest illumination so they could pray. And they prayed for three days. And uh, when the uh, Holy Spirit descended, you know, it's described as being loud. And that doesn't even begin to describe it. Uh, Loud, it was louder than a million jet planes all the rock concerts in the world, uh, every kid banging on a drum, all the loud cars with loud mufflers, uh, the louder than the nuclear bombs. Uh, you know, you pick every loud noise uh, you can think of and you combine them all together, and it was even louder than that. Uh, That was the power of of the Holy Spirit in that room. But it wasn't heard from outside the room. And it wasn't too loud for the apostles and the Blessed Virgin Mary. And the light shone. uh, And they could see every fiber of the Holy Spirit. And the tongues of fire set upon them, which gave them the gift of tongues. And that simply means that uh, they could be heard and understood by uh, all people. And considering the Bible has been translated into every language, and the church is in uh, every country of the world, that's pretty powerful. The fourth glorious mystery is the assumption of our Blessed Virgin Mary. Thou art the glory of Jerusalem. Thou art the joy of Israel. Thou art the honor of our people. Jesus chapter 15, verse 10. Our Blessed Virgin Mary, as I said, uh, Her servant was uh, Cindy from the time she left the uh, tomb after having been murdered by Barabbas. She was also the earthly mother to John, who uh, had just become a man at age 13. On his birthday is when uh, Jesus picked him as a disciple. And... uh, Mary taught him until he was ready to assume his role in the world. He already knew how to read and write, but she uh, taught him uh, everything that was uh, taught in uh, the temple when uh, Jesus had gone there to question the uh, doctors of Israel. And that's also a beautiful story when we get to that. Um... She was ill for three days and in bed. And before she died, she uh, gave her final blessing to John and Cindy. She uh, passed very quietly in her sleep. She was instantly transported up to heaven. And uh, John and Cindy 
And all the apostles saw this, uh, including the uh, women who were there with uh, Jesus when he died. And uh, again, it took her three days to uh, get to heaven. Uh, and she stepped on the, uh, the golden walkway into heaven. And the second uh, she stepped there, the gates opened. All the angels and the saints were, uh, were singing and praying and laughing and clapping. And it, it was the most joyous moment in heaven. Uh, and the most joyous moment heaven will ever know. And, uh, again, my grandmother was leading the choir, uh, and she was the loudest voice singing. And, again, my, uh, grandfather, be about was the softest voice singing. She, uh, walked into heaven, and the first thing she did was bless my, uh, grandmother and my grandfather. She uh, then uh, hugged her son, Jesus, and he walked her into uh, her palace, into her room, where she had uh, her heavenly clothing, a nice warm bath. Uh, she bathed in a uh, very fragrant uh Soap and water. And uh, she didn't have to rinse off. Um, there was lavender in there and myrrh and frankincense and roses. And uh, just washing the water over her cleansed her. Every bit of her. Um, and when she stepped out of the tub, she was instantly dry and warm. She was never cold. Um, and then she wrapped herself in the most glorious robe. And it's the same uh, robe that uh, the sisters of uh Charity wear the um, except hers uh, was a lot wider and a lot brighter, and the blue just glowed, the white glows. And when she was done, the uh, bath went away, and that was uh. Returned to earth to her home, which was always the home for Cindy and John until the day they died. And it was always uh, filled with warm water when uh, they needed to bathe, and it also had a uh, foot bath in it. Uh, and it actually extended out from... Uh, the bathroom, which was uh, obviously private, to the uh, front and back entrances of the house. There was actually two uh, feet washing stations, and they were never dirty. Uh, the minute the uh, dirt washed off, it uh, disappeared, and it just took the merest touch in the water to uh, accomplish that. Uh, and they uh, took Mary to a beautiful table. And again, they ate her favorite foods. And I don't know what those are. But she enjoyed every bit of it. And God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit... 
just to partook a bit, uh, a, a little bite of everything, and let her have the rest of it. Uh, the wine, of course, was uh, the blood of her son. The bread was his body. And uh, when she was done eating, they went to the coronation, which is uh, the fifth glorious mystery. As they walked into the uh, coronation room, all the angels and saints and all the apostles uh, were witness to her coronation. The crown was beautiful. It had uh, three staffs on it for the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Father's has a uh, stone of red. The uh, stone of Jesus, I'm not sure. Uh, that will be revealed later. And for the uh, Holy Spirit, it was the most purest uh, topaz you've ever seen. No, it was amber. Pure amber. And the stones were smooth. No, Jesus' stone wasn't a stone at all. It was a separate uh, piece of gold. Very round and perfect. All three of those were perfect. And then the rest of the crown were very large square sapphires for our Blessed Virgin Mary. And even though to us on earth uh, the crown is heavy, because it is 24 karat gold, it is light as a feather uh, to the Blessed Virgin. And she wears it every day. It has never left her head since the day she was crowned. And that's what God wants you to know about the glorious mysteries. Have a blessed day.